Any last words? Fuck you. With these guys, it's always the same routine. They put you in here for a while and leave you to stew. You get to sit and think about all the bad stuff you've done. What have you got? You're not gonna like it. I'm gonna give this to somebody else. Afraid not. Chief asked for you. We've got three girls in custody now. Sleep when you get home. Yeah, but I don't get paid there. Detective Miller interview commencing August the fourth, ten oh five. Thank you for coming in to talk to us, Miss. Roberts. Not like I had much of a choice. Miss Roberts, can I call you Ramona? You looked like you had quite a night. Look, we're all friendly. I just need to ask you a few questions. Where are Kitty and G? Don't worry about your friends. They're just fine. Ever heard of someone by the name of James Cooper? Doesn't ring any bells. Really? Well, James's lockup was found burnt out this morning. James and his buddy is still inside. Well, I don't like to comment on the lady's appearance, but it seems to me like you know more than you're letting off. The first thing you learn when you're in a place like this, there's rules. Rule one, only tell them what you want to tell them. Because if you say nothing, they've got nothing. But if you have to talk, make them earn it. Do you know this girl, Annie Redwood, also known as Red? Well, Red is dead. Okay, here's the story. Me and Red, we go way back. We grew up in the same dead-end town and left in search of bigger and better things. Along the way, we picked up Baby G. We met Kitty when she was working the bar at the Triple Six Club and things were pretty good. For a while, the place was owned by Ma. No one knew that much about her, but rumor had it. She was married to some big shot gangster back in the day. When he went inside, she opened this place to make a living. We'd get in a few scrapes from time to time, but Ma always looked out for us. After a while, people started calling us the Pink Sixes. I'm not sure why, it just stuck. The thing about a club like the Triple Six was it occasionally attracted one or two lowlives. Losers like JC and his boys. The only problem was Red. She never could resist a bad boy. And with guys like JC, things never end well. Seems you've been busy. Tell me about the Pink Sixes. Cute name. Look, your friend already told me everything. Just tell me the truth. Then you don't have to worry about your stories matching up. Rule two, keep your cool, no matter what they throw at you. There's five bodies down at the morgue. You need to start talking. When Red didn't show up for a few days, we knew something was up. Ramona was sure that JC and his boys were behind it. We asked around, and sure enough, she was right. I say we go down there and put a bullet right between his arm. What, just walk in there? Have you got a better suggestion? I just think we need to think about it first. That's all I'm saying. Well, I'm not just gonna sit here and do nothing. What do you think we should do? I think we should speak to Ma.
every Friday night, JC and his boys meet at his lockup. They go there, drink, smoke, and play at being gangsters. Well, we're gonna leave them a little surprise. So when they light that first cigarette, it was a good plan. What could go wrong? You actually think you could take these guys out and no one would ask any questions? Because I gotta tell you, when the morgue starts filling up, people start taking notice. Rule number three, stay one step ahead of the game. First, they'll ask if you did it. Then, why? Last, they'll ask how. Why didn't you call the cops? Let us handle things. Come on, detective. You know that assholes like JC never see the inside of a cell. So you just go looking for revenge on your own, is that it? Something like that. So this was Ma's big plan. Well, I have to say, it doesn't look too clever from where I'm. Oh, that wasn't Ma's plan. Look, even without this mess, we've got enough to put you girls away for a long time. That's what Ma said. She thought it would be a good idea to make all this evidence disappear. Wiping the slate clean, she called it. Seems like wishful thinking. Not really. You see, Ma said it would be real tough for you to make a case without any evidence. Uh, weren't you listening? We've got enough to put you away. It's time I was going, Detective. You won't be seeing any of us again. I'll take those with me. And how exactly are you going to get out of here? There are 20 officers between you and the front door, and you think you're just going to walk out? Well, that's where Ma's part of the plan comes in. Eggs, flour, milk, sugar, half a cup of crushed sleeping pills. It's a treat you fellas can't seem to resist. The right quantity, and you can have someone out like a light, exactly when you want. By now, the entire station should be KO'd. I'll take these. and get out of your hair. Oh, and before you think about tracking us down, just remember, then you'd have to admit that three girls managed to outsmart your entire station. <laughs>